while people are using your products, are you recommending that they do other things to improve the lymphatic drainage? Let's say dry brushing at times, let's say uh, using a trampoline, hot cold therapy, sauna. I just tell them, yes, but don't wear yourself out, you know, in a rebounder or, or everything. Um, I, I am uh, actually, I, I have them uh, just do the, the creams and the protocol to begin with. Mm -hmm. So we can see how the lymphatics react. So in three to six months, I am come back for the liquid scan to see how my products are progressing. If now there's not a sulfur, uh, if you're sweating and your sweating patterns are coming back, then we can do the add-ons. Then the add-ons work so much better. Um, and, and so sometimes the in some individuals, they're not able to take on some of these internal, you know, like they, they keep taking all these vitamins and they're not, they're wasting their money. Um, and, and so I, I have to tell them, you know, put it, put it in the drawer till we deplete that heavy metal that will use up that mineral. Then you can go back and use it again. Right. And as far as diet, because we know so much of food is, is basically tainted and, uh, you know, we don't have control over what, what is in it, nor do we actually have the ability to tell whether or not usually. What is your recommendation for people going through this, using the products, going through their lymphatic drainage? Should they eat a specific way? Is it fasting more? What, what is it? I, I, I have them do uh, maybe baths with Epsom salt. Okay. If, um, if they have Lyme disease, they, they have to go very slowly mm -hmm. because the Borrelio uh, creates a lot of debris and it, can, and it can pop open the lymph nodes and they won't close. So we have to start very slow with them. But a bath and Epsom salt, exercise, plenty of good water. Mm -hmm. um, I try to tell them to reduce their junk food. Um, the, the other thing, the um, junk food. Um, uh, late night eating, you know, just yeah. things that can kind of let them let the body um, exhaust like a car. You, I mean, you keep putting gasoline in a car trying to start it. It's just going to keep, you know, um, ex, you know, it's not going to exhaust correctly. So I, I um, and I leave that up to the, the clinics and the practitioners to look at their diet because they may say something on their questionnaire, but when we palpate them and we start looking, it's like, well, things don't match up here. We we got a, you know, we, you know, we we've got some weight going on here, and and you know, like what else? And I find out a lot of times they don't disclose everything that they're doing in their oh no <laughs> in their diet. I had some individual, I think in Arizona or Texas, they live next to a, a cement, a couple cement. Mm factories and her aluminum was off the chart and what what do you tell somebody about you you have to continually drain uh, because of the the cement uses a lot of aluminum as a cake so I, I, I was yeah. going to ask how you feel about uh, you know everything going on right now with with these uh kind of catastrophes of chemical spills and everything else that obviously so, some of these you know are, are pure chemicals poisonous everything else but a lot of what's going on right now is is also just heavy metals and, and toxins in general being released into our environment over and over uh even the cement and everything i mean this is something you just can't get away from like you said you're going to be using these products forever but is it not actually compounding at an accelerating rate every day it seems if we don't if we could get to the younger people early yeah. they could very quickly yeah. until they hit about that 20 um 20 years of age then we're starting to see the the dullness of the the ability to detox um and and so when Give you an idea. We went to a Dietrich Klinghardt conference in in uh, New Jersey, and we had just learned about uh, what it was in Michigan, the lead in the pipes mm -hmm. and the water uh, that was. You know, they had they had metals in the water, and they had shifted to a, a dirty water, and then they found out that many of the pipes had uh, lead in them. So they they have to. Um, uh, 
they, they, they had to change out the lead. So we were going to New Jersey and we, we heard that the school was having problems too. So we wanted to measure the, the teachers. And so we got a hold of some people. They weren't even interested. Even these schools were 100 years old with lead pipes. Right. They didn't want to know. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I, what can I do? So I, I leave it up to the individual that um, if, you, if, if you're not uh, aware of this, but when you become aware, you're going to have to find what works with you best because with the Oligo scan and the good detoxification, you, you will find the right type of foods that supplement your body. Mm-hmm. And will keep you out of the wheelchair. Uh, and and at, as you know, instead of paying all this money to go see a doctor and go through these battery tests, which are really not looking at the heavy metals. So I'm I'm looking at a world. I'll, I'll give you an I, I did, Castro. When we were in um, Japan, I, I I did a study for them. I looked at the air, and the air was full of heavy metals that they get every every summer. And but they did include aluminum in the air quality. But so I went and looked at China, their, their aluminum refineries, and I looked at produ- the production for 20 years, and it was astronomical that these aluminum plants are not regulated, and the air from these refineries are getting over into Japan. And the reason why I looked at it, because when I was in Japan, they gave me the data between United States Oligoscan tests and Japan, and I looked at how high the aluminum rates were higher than in the United States. And I put two and two together and I looked at their disease rates over the last couple of years. And I said, you guys are experiencing more strokes, more dementia. And guess what? You're being infiltrated by Chinese aluminum. Uh, and, and so what do you what do you do? I mean, that's why when you're in Japan, people are wearing masks because of the heavy metals and the stagnant air. I I would say that with the Olympic scan. I would encourage everybody to get a test, a baseline. And because when they come in to see you, they know of the surrounding area. You can tell them what they have to avoid, where it's water, factories, um, or just living by a ceramic plant that off gases lead in the air. And all, all around there, all the people are getting high lead levels. Yeah. It, it just, so, um, I had one that um, we were doing at a conference and she, and we had to go, but she gave me her zip code. Her And I looked at the zip code. She lived right near, near an airport. Her cabin was in the red. Hmm. And that's exhaust fuels. 